Hey y'all, Jonathan here. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody that um, gave a donation, had us in mind your prayers, and sent and sent uh, well wishes on my way home right before the Sabbath. Got out last minute. I'm gonna go surprise the family. Thank God. Back to the nitty gritty Saturday night. Yeah, wishing you all a happy and special Sabbath. Shalom from the front, near Gaza border. I'm Sergeant Major Chaim Mailspin, and I am Israel. I am Israel family. Thank you so much for being family. You know, you give all for God, for family, for your nation. And uh, in this time, I'm seeing such heroes arise. I have a family too, wife, I've been married 12 years, uh, three kids, uh, oldest son is uh, 10 years old, then there's my daughter, she's seven years old, then my youngest boy, he'll be four in Hanukkah, and uh, you know, these are dark times, these are perilous times, these are trying times, times that try your faith, but also tr times when heroes arise, and just like in the times of old, in the times of the Bible, heroes arise, and they have to shine, but we understand that in this deep darkness that covers the people, uh, a light will arise, and, and I feel God's favor over these heroes of Israel that are arising everywhere. And as a believer, I'm just, I'm just amazed to in, be able to encourage myself in the scriptures like Deuteronomy 31.8. And the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. This is what Moses said. And uh, the battle belongs to the Lord. We know that with Jehoshaphat. Uh, we know that. And uh, thank you for praying for us, though, through the emotional. You see a lot of dead bodies. You see the wickedness of the enemy, the grotesque, uh, barbaric, uh, just demonic. Uh, you see the physical manifestation of those things and you are, have to be the, the line of defense in the Israel Defense Force. And um, just telling you, you know, being here, it's one thing to, to look at it from afar, and it's another thing to be right in the middle of it. It's another thing to be the gunner. I'm a gunner. I, I run this. It's called a mag. This gun right here, it's called a mag. And, uh, and so we go, our job as an elite unit, it sounds cool that we are the elite unit of the Combat Engineer Corps for special missions, but when it comes down to it, it's very, very dangerous. It's, it's the most dangerous missions known to man. I've never heard of anything more dangerous, not even in movies. Uh, like, for example, the tunnel threat. You have dangerous gases. You have um, every kind of explosive, modern explosives supplied from Iran, from Russia, from enemies like even in North Korea. And so we really need God's wisdom as we go through booby traps, as we enter, as we are in the midst of it right now. And I just, I just, I want you to know that this is not a drill. You know, this is real. And life and death hangs in the balance. And my, some of my friends from my unit have died. Some believers have died. You bury them. Sit Shiva for seven days. And, uh, but we know that, th that you can't back down. You cannot uh, surrender to the enemy. You must stand, uh, lift up a standard against this enemy when they come in like a flood. And, and I, I hold so true to these scriptures that, uh, you know, a thousand on your right hand, 10,000 on your right hand, and, and it, it will not come by you. And the terror will not strike you by day. Uh, and, and so what I want to say is thank you for standing with my family specifically. Thank you for standing. I mean, it, and even on the home front, rockets are hitting everywhere throughout Israel. And of course, also from the Hezbollah in the north and their Rodwan force, highly trained, not only from the Hamas and their Nukba force in the south, but then you also have Izzalin al-Qassam. Then you also have the Islamic Jihad and you also have Houthi rebels that are launching towards the south. Towards the south. So thank you for standing with us. And, and, and I know that we're going to look back at this. We're going to say, wow, we stood together. Wow, and I do believe that there will be in Isaiah 19, peace coming, uh, a time of peace. And this isn't world war, uh, war to end all wars, World War III yet. I don't believe it. Einstein said something very interesting about World War III. He, they said, what do you think will happen in World War III? He said, I don't know when or how World War III is gonna happen. What I can tell you, says Einstein, he was supposed to be our president. He says, World War IV will be fought with stones and, and sticks. Uh, I don't think we're at that war, at the World War III yet. 
But what I will say is stand in prayer, stand in the gap. And, and I want to just put it this way. I, without going into military details and the exact tech we use, the exact uh, methods we use, you're going to need, America's going to need it, Canada's going to need it, England's going to need it. People from all over the world will need to, to receive what we have. And we've come a long way since the tunnel rats of Vietnam. Uh, and so what I will say is this, it's a spiritual battle. First and foremost, it's a spiritual battle. It's the Prince of Persia, which is now called Iran, you know, and, and we're seeing in this spiritual battle, we're seeing uh, a, a response in the spirit. You know, Haman, he brought in the occult. Haman brought in a spiritual aspect when he cast lots about what day to kill the Jewish people on. He, he, and the same thing when, when Esther had to combat that with prayer and fasting. Esther strikes and uh, and just uh, the air coverage the air coverage we need the air coverage against the prince of uh, the prince principalities and powers and the prince of the air so what I will say is this Daniel he also encountered this spiritual battle and he fasted and he prayed and he saw the victory and on the 21st day of this battle we saw a shift we saw a, a um, an advancement of the righteous thank you for standing with my family again I'm Sergeant Major Chaim Mailspin with the Combat Engineer Corps Elite Unit for Special Missions called Yalom. God bless you from the front.